everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is Jen and I moved to New Zealand from England in 2011 I moved from South Africa where I was born and grew up to England in 1999 so I have been a new immigrant twice and have had to kind of make a new life and get settled twice and there were some things that helped me to feel settled and I thought I'd share in a video some tips so that if you are planning to move to a new country you can maybe use some of these tips to help yourself to feel settled more quickly it does take around two years I know everybody always says that but it really does take around two years to feel settled in your new life and in your new country but hopefully some of these tips will help you my first tip is get out there and get involved don't hide so moving to a new country is daunting it's a massive thing to go through and you may also be grieving and there's been some loss involved with the move and it can be tempting to kind of just hide out and want to process everything that you've been through and everything that you're experiencing but that's not really going to help you to feel settled the best way to feel settled to get out there to get involved with things and to make an effort to form your new life it's not just going to come to you you're going to have to go out and get it i do have a video on how to make friends which will hopefully be helpful i will link that over here and also down below part of getting out there and getting involved is get yourself set up with all the admin things that you need to do to have a functioning life go out and get your driver's license converted Get your IRD number for tax purposes, register at your local doctor's surgery, get your kids registered and into school, register at your local library so that you can have a library card. All of these things will help to get you settled and so that you can start functioning in your new life. They're little hurdles that just have to be done, so get out there and get them done. Another tip is to set up routines in your home and also outside of it. So obviously you want your kids, especially if you have children, to be in routine that will help them to feel settled. You may have a routine yourself, maybe an exercise routine or you know your morning routine, your evening routine at home, but also routines outside of the house. Become a regular and by that I mean maybe go to the library at the same time on the same day every week. Maybe go and get coffee from the same place at the same time every week or every day. Maybe do your grocery shopping from the same supermarket on the same day each week. It will help you to feel settled because you'll start to see familiar faces and it will make you feel settled to become a regular at the places that you go. Take a note of who's serving you. Have a look if they have a name badge. Greet them by name. Ask them how they're doing. And they will probably start to do the same for you and that can really help you to feel settled in your new life and in your new place if you feel like you are part of the landscape and part of the neighborhood and that you can kind of recognize people and greet them even if you really don't want to speak to anybody just going to the same places at the same times will help you to establish a routine and a rhythm to your life and it will stop feeling like a holiday and it will start to feel like your life. You'll know what to expect each week and that will help you to feel settled. Another tip is to get your kids into school or into kindy as soon as possible. I know it's tempting to kind of live in that holiday zone and to be so busy with all of these other things that you think I'll just deal with that later. It doesn't matter if they're in school straight away. They've been through a big upheaval. I want to keep my kids close to me. But on the whole from what I've seen from myself and from friends and from other people in my Moving to New Zealand Facebook group, it's really helpful to actually just get the kids into school and into their routine. It helps you to feel settled and it helps them to feel settled. Yes, they've been through a big thing, you'll still be there for them after school, but it will be really helpful to them if they can start making friends and to start living their new life rather than being in kind of a temporary holiday mode and then having school to kind of look forward to or to dread because the unknown is scary. So the sooner they get going into that unknown and it becomes familiar, the better for everyone. It really helps you to feel settled if you join things, join clubs, join sports groups, go to church if that's something that interests you. It helps you to feel like you are part of the community. It obviously helps you to meet people and it's helpful to have something to look forward to each week or whenever your event or club or whatever organization meets. That can definitely help to feel settled, to have that rhythm going in your life. Another way to feel settled is to establish new traditions or you may want to reinstate old traditions and bring them with you. This can vary from person to person. I found it quite triggering to pull out all of our old Christmas things that I'd brought from England at Christmas time because Christmas time can be a hard time for homesickness anyway and 
I just felt it made it worse to have all of our old Christmas things. So for me, establishing new traditions, like buying new Christmas ornaments and decorations and creating an, a different Christmas menu to what we would normally eat in England, that helped me to feel settled. To have something that's our family's new traditions to look forward to each year at Christmas time rather than being reminded of what we miss. And so you can do this with anything from date night to family traditions to meals that you eat to birthdays. Either, if it's helpful to you, reinstate the traditions that you used to have in your previous country in your previous life. I know my kids like seeing old Christmas decorations being brought out each year. Or you can choose to form new traditions, maybe with new friends, new places that you go. But having traditions is something that can also help you to feel settled. Another way to feel settled is to really pay attention to and engage with the seasons. I know this sounds really random. When I first moved over here, I kind of didn't know what to expect weather-wise, at what times of the year, and my brain would get so confused because I would be seeing on social media that people are doing autumnal things and talking about fall, and the weather kind of felt almost like that here, but then I'd have to remind myself, actually it's spring, and it can be confusing for a while. So if you start to really pay attention and to know what to expect when, that can help you to feel settled. For example, I know that it only really gets hot summer weather, like we want to go swim at the beach, maybe a week before Christmas. I know that February is really, really hot and we can make plans then. January is also really hot, we can do our camping then. I know that end of May it starts to get really cold at night and that's when I'm going to put the thicker duvets onto the bed. Knowing that the wind blows a lot in spring and that September and October I'm going to spend a lot of time in the garden. They're just little things that create a rhythm and you know what to expect each year and that can help you to feel settled in your new country. I do little things like decorate for the seasons as well and that also helps. So I have this bench in our hallway and it's got a cushion on the top and I change the cover each season and I change the pictures in the frames and it's just a little thing but paying attention to the seasons and engaging with them really did help me to feel settled. Buying a house can definitely help you to feel settled. I mentioned that it took me around two years to really feel like I was settled in my new life and that I belonged and this was my town and my country. We actually moved to a whole different region four years after we had arrived in New Zealand. And that was when we were able to buy a house because we moved from Auckland where it's super expensive to South Taranaki which is not so expensive so we were able to buy property. And although I had felt settled for at least two years, I found it made a huge difference buying a house that I really felt that I could relax, I felt secure and it did make a big difference. I wouldn't rush into it. If you watched my video on what to expect as a new immigrant, I talked about making that second move after you've arrived in your new country. So maybe don't rush into buying a house, but when the time is right, that can definitely make a big difference. What can also help is to get a pet. Now don't rule this out if you're renting. In the last house that we rented, we asked our landlord if we could have chickens and he didn't mind that. So we had chickens and I really enjoyed them and that really helped me to feel settled. We also had a dog for a while. He didn't mind us having a dog. We did approach him and say, look, we've been good tenants. We had looked after the property. We've even made improvements. Could we have a dog? And he said, yes, we could have a dog. We just needed to pay an extra deposit. I think we had to sign something saying we wouldn't cause any damage. And he did stipulate that the dog needed to be an outside dog. So she slept in a kennel, which she was used to anyway, because she'd come from a farm and we enjoyed having a dog for a while. We did eventually rehome her, but that's another story for another day. But having a pet can help you to feel settled. Another tip is to practice gratitude and to look for the positive. Some parts of immigrating can be really, really hard, and there is an element of loss and grief that can go along with all the excitement of your new life. And there's plenty of negative to focus on. It's hard, it's expensive, it's overwhelming. And maybe people in your new country do things wrong or in a way that you're not used to. There's a lot that you have to learn. So you can focus on the negative. There's gonna be plenty of it, but it's not gonna help you feel settled. Focus on the positive. Look for all the beauty in your new country. Look for the exciting things. Look for all of the things that make you happy, the things that reinforce that you've made the right decision, the things you were looking forward to before you move. Look for those things and enjoy them. Be grateful for the opportunity you've had to move to your new country. Be grateful for your new life. Be grateful for every new friend that you make. This will definitely help you to feel settled and to enjoy your new life. And then my last tip is to just give it time. Don't put any pressure on yourself to feel settled or to 
you know launch into your new life and have this be it it takes a while it takes a good two years to feel settled it really does and it will come with time it's not really a process you can rush maybe you'll feel settled after six months maybe it will take you three years it's going to take how long it takes yes there are things that you can do to help the process along but time is the biggest help of all it can sneak up on you and one day you realize huh i actually feel settled and i don't have that new immigrant feeling anymore and this is my new life now and i'm happy with it and i feel like a part of my new country just hang in there i have some other videos that may be helpful to you if you are planning on moving to new zealand or i guess if you're moving anywhere some of them might be helpful even if you're not moving to new zealand specifically i will link the playlist down below and in the end slate i also have a group called moving to new zealand on facebook and that's really helpful for other potential immigrants to all network together there's around 5,000 people in the group there's a lot of good tips being shared there's people moving from all different countries so check out that group as well you might find it helpful if you're planning a move to new zealand or to anywhere else i wish you all the best it's a huge endeavor you've got guts it's going to be an awesome experience and i hope you feel settled sooner rather than later thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one